Inside of a cannabis plant, there are 400 plus ingredients, including dozens of different kinds of cannabinoids, which can be extracted as oil. CBD is a particular kind of cannabinoid oil, and unlike THC, the chemical that can give you a high when it's smoked, CBD is not psychoactive. That's really important. It means it does not have the ability to get you high. Earlier this year, I spoke with a local mom whose little son, Hawk, takes CBD oil for medical purposes. Our doctor came into the room and he just looked at me and I, you can't read a neurologist's face because they're so, you know, sort of stoic. stoic. That's a good word for it. Um, he said, well, I'll tell you this. He said, the brain waves have calmed down. He said, even the background waves have calmed down. There's no more hard spikes, which are called hypsarrhythmia. He said, I would consider this a thousand times better. And he just looked at me and said, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Well, candidly, that little boy, Hawk, his life is being saved by CBD oil. And Hawk is not alone. He is one of hundreds of children right here in Georgia, tens of thousands of them around the nation, who depend on CBD oil to help control serious issues such as seizures. Children who suffer from epilepsy, they have seen results where they've gone from having 300 seizures a week down to only two or three just by eating one to two drops of oil a day. CBD is saving lives. Consider the fact that the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services holds a patent on CBD and cannabinoids. I've shown you this before, but U.S. Patent 6630507 lists cannabinoids and as antioxidants and neuroprotectants. HHS holds the patent on using CBD and other cannabinoids for the purpose of treating Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autoimmune diseases like Crohn's, and even HIV.